YouTube, welcome to Logo History. And for this episode, we are taking a look at Crazy Art. Let's take a look at the short bio for those of you who don't know what Crazy Art is. Um, like, like what I did with Rose Art, I didn't find that much information, so I don't have that much to say about Crazy Art. So, it is another art supplies company. They have a wide variety of supplies like crayons, markers, and more. And I actually found their website. So the website is www.crazyart.com. So let's check it out. <clears throat> so on the top, we have uh, the Crazy Art logo with the slogan, Always Creative on the top. Uh, with this rainbow background here. And we got some pictures. Magrific. Built with 3D magnetic tiles. That's, that's, that's freaking awesome. Follow us. Anyway, you draw it up, you'll get more ideas and inspirations by following Crazy Art on Facebook. So click right here. But we're not going to do that right now. I have no time. All right. So shop by brand. Uh, Magna Doodle, Max Tastics, Kodak Puzzles, Peppa Pig, uh, Scanned, Thomas Creations, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. News. Breaking news, Inga! Crazy Art teams up with Carlos Veteran Foundation to aid immigrant children, Inga. Crazy Art, a prime manufacturer and leader in trendy toy activity, art and school supply products, has teamed up with Carlos Beltran Foundation to aid children in New York who have been separated from their parents due to the former U.S. immigration policy, which has since been amended, Inga. So if you want to go check that out, go check out the news, Inga. <laughs> I, I wanted to make an impression of Goodman from, uh, well, News Goodman from Smart Logan. Smart Logan's great as hell. So, watch. Ice cream! Ice cream! Who wants ice cream? We bet you do. With the real two in one ice cream maker, you can just make two flavors of ice cream in just 10 minutes. Just mix the flavors, turn it press to make your choice of three delicious flavors. Cool chocolate, yummy vanilla, and sweet strawberry. See how the real two in, I in one, sorry. See how the real two in one ice cream maker works. Well, we have no time for that. I just want to get on with the slide. Oh yeah, that's the end of the main page. Unfortunately, uh, um, we have uh, like all the years have uh, no uh, no years. So what th what that means is that Crazy Art has no history. So all of them is just gonna be uh like uh unknown years. So I might as well just show off all the well some of the logos and some of the products in the slide. So now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we have some logos here. Uh, <clears throat> so the first one, we have the word crazy art. Cray, Z, uh, R, N, in uh, white text. Um, the words cray and art are white with a black outline, and the letter Z is white with red outline. And here, it appears to be a rainbow, like a rainbow of different colors, so red, orange, well, red, scarlet, orange, yellow, chartreuse, green, uh, cyan, and blue. What about freaking purple or indigo or pink? Come on. All right. So this is their website logo. CrazyArtShop.com with the slogan, Always Creative. <clears throat> the print version of the logo with the slogan, Always Creative. Uh, we have the word, cra we have the Crazy Art logo. In this spectacular rainbow background shown here, um, and we have the uh, crazy art logo with the slogan "Always Creative." Now here are uh, three more logos and one product on one side. Uh, so uh, this is probably the same as um, last logo with the spectacular rainbow background, but but this one is. Uh, as a red background with the rainbow. The last one had the blue background with the uh, rainbows. All right, now this is the lo logo with with next to the Kodak logo. Um, actually, two products. Sorry. Um, yeah, two products. I'm so sorry. Two logos, two products. I'm very sorry. Typo alert. Um, so uh, so here we have uh, um, we. This is their 
Crazy Art Washable Triangular Crayons. And here we have uh, all, we, we have the uh, 64 crayon pack from Crazy Art. And this is under $1. So it's kind of cheap. All right, now here are six more products. Actually, like seven. Well, yeah, here's some products. Here's some more. Um, <clears throat> now here we have the Crazy Art Markers. The colored pencils, 12 pack and 24 pack. Again, the washable triangular crayons. We have the sidewall chalk, modeling clay, and the kids paint. And now, before I say anything else, I would like to introduce you to the Crazy Yard 250 PC Deluxe Art Set. Now, it has like any product from Crazy Yard you can imagine all in one kit. It has crayons, markers, paint, modeling clay, you name it. So if you're a uh, an art junkie, you might want to get this. All right, <clears throat> now this episode is not over yet. Um, uh, I'm gonna bring back two logos that I covered on episode 59, and these two logos that I covered like a while back in episode 59 are Children's Television Workshop and Sesame Workshop. They're back by popular popular demand, folks. The last time they were in logo history was in episode 59. I just want to make a remastered version of it because I noticed that there were some new logos that I've never seen before from these two. So let's get right into it. So yeah, not a requested logo, but something I wanted to do again because there are two new logos from episode from 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 episode 59 that were not here. Well, I mean, like, two new logos that weren't in episode 59, but now here in episode 186. So, let's get, let's dive right into the short bio for those of you who don't know what Sesame Workshop is. They are a non-profit organization founded on May 20th, 1968 as Children's Television Workshop. <clears throat> then, on June 5th, 2000, it was changed to Sesame Workshop. Maybe it's because of Sesame Street. da 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 well, Maybe obvious. Its headquarters are in one Lincoln Plaza. If you don't know, if you don't know where that is, it's in New York City. Its area is served worldwide. The president and CEO is Jeffrey D. Dunn. The chairman of the board of trustees is Vincent A. Mai. Its key people are Joan Gans Cooney and Lloyd Morissette, which are the co-founders. <clears throat> its subsidiaries consist of Sesame Street Inc., the Electric Company, the Joan Gans Cooney Center, Sesame Workshop Com Communications Inc. Sesame Workshop Initiatives India PLC and SS Brand Management Shanghai. Their revenue is is a lot. One hundred and four million seven hundred and twenty-eight thousand nine hundred and sixty-three dollars as of twenty fourteen. Their expenses are one hundred and eleven million two hundred and fifty-five thousand six hundred and twenty-two dollars as of twenty fourteen. As of twenty thirteen, there are eight hundred and thirteen employees. Their website can be found on sesameworkshop.org. So, uh, let's take a look. <clears throat> oh, yeah, in the beginning, they, they're supposed to tell you uh, to fill in your name and password or whatever email in the beginning, but it doesn't show that here. Anyways, Sesame Workshop is a nonprofit educational organization behind Sesame Street. I knew it. Our mission is to help kids grow smarter, stronger, and kinder. I'm not done with this yet. Dang so last time to say, we do so we do we do so in more than 150 countries. As me and Roy and all new series, new season coming to PBS Kids starting off on August 6th. That's cool. Eight Emmy wins, outstanding preschool children series, outstanding multiple camera editing. Oh God, uh, uh, that was from my mom's phone, it's not from my phone. Anyways, eight Emmy wins, outstanding preschool children series, outstanding multiple camera editing, outstanding writing, art direction, technical team, sound editing, original song, special class. And that's it. Congratulations, Sesame Crew, you've done well. Exciting news: Sesame Workshop and the International Rescue Committee are awarded MacArthur Found, sorry, MacArthur Foundation's 100 and Change Grant. And yeah, <clears throat> wow, that's actually the end of the main page. So nothing much on the main page. Now, without further ado. Let's go over the history of Sesame Workshop and Children's Television Workshop again. 1969 and 1983, we have uh, 
I'm guessing an angel holding the sign children's television workshop. Ni 1978 to 1983 and 1988 to 1989. For those of you who watched episode 59, you may have seen this logo. Uh, but if you don't know what it is, it's the CTW snake. So basically, it's just the word. It's just the letter C T and W, like almost like combined. 1983 to 1998, we have the words children television. Sorry, children's television workshop in black text. There's a similar logo like this called the CTW Sparks, but I'm gonna, but I'm not gonna get into that yet. 1997 to 2000, we have a semicircle right here, like a semicircle in in yellow. And we have the word CT, sorry, I'm sorry, I mean, letter CTW in red text, and we have the letter, sorry, words, Children's Television Workshop around it, also in red text. 1999, a new logo. We have the word CTW Family Workshop. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a logo that hasn't been on episode 59 yet. So, yeah, this lasted, like, only for one year, 1999. That's it. All right, so, in this logo, we have the word Sorry, the letter CTW in orange and the words Family Workshop in in black. And now, 2000 to 2011, the most iconic Sesame Workshop logo of all time. It is the greenhouse with the with the with the yellow lightning rod with the star on top and with the purple roof. And and on the bottom we have the words uh we have the word Sesame Workshop with the word Sesame in purple and the word Workshop. In uh, in green. There's a similar logo like this, but different colors. But I'm not gonna get into that yet, or well, I'm not gonna get into this episode right now. And this is the print version, and this this is the second print version, where the only difference is that the lightning rod and the star are white. 2008 to the present, the house completely dropped, and all is left is the word Sesame Workshop, with a uh, the word sesame in dark green and the word workshop in light green, slightly. And now allow me to introduce you 2018's new Sesame Workshop logo, 2018 to the present. So we have this curvy yellow line here and we have the word Sesame Workshop in gray text and on the bottom here we have a line line, like a light green line I mean. Alright, that's all for now guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. If you haven't watched uh, episode 59 yet, I will put the link to that episode in the description below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode, guys. Stay tuned for episode 187, the first credit card logo in probably, like, in weeks. Discover. Bye-bye.